So welcome to this uh, season day scholar uh, season three, mm -hmm. and uh, for me uh, this is one of the I mean the most close to heart uh, episode uh, because I never thought uh, Yamato Sensei will agree to this. Uh, mm -hmm. So I am <laughs> I am so much uh, uh, in the uh, I mean the grateful for uh, you to taking part uh, take part um, mm -hmm. to take some time out for uh, this. Uh, podcast, which is uh, made for younger generation and also mm -hmm. mid-career, mid-level, and also everybody can learn something out, out of uh, this conversation. So there is no time bound. Uh, we mm -hmm. can take uh, the relaxing and mm -hmm. all those things. If if uh, the time allotted today will finish, we will uh, complete it another day. But okay. anyway, uh, we will okay. Uh, okay. we will go like that. Uh -huh. So uh, welcome, Sensei. Thank you very much for uh, your invitation. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Um, what are the um, milestones in your career? Can you uh, go back and tell us that, oh, this is the time when maybe uh, joining Maxo Sensei was a turning point. Maybe uh, taking membrane was a turning point. Uh, maybe getting RA position uh, was a turning point, and so on and yes, so forth. Yes, okay, okay. Uh, I have, uh, I think uh, maybe four points. Mm. Uh, one point is a very, very private one. Yes. And then 1980s, during my PhD, uh, this is student. Uh, I was a PhD student. I met wife. <laughs> Go to NES. Yes. Mm. <laughs> this changed a lot, uh, my oh. situation. Oh, anyhow. Then, uh, then uh, he was I, in PhD. He was in Todai. It's no, 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 no. Totally different. Yes, but uh, ninety-eight, and then next one is a ninety eighty-four. Because uh, this one is I came back from Tohoku University. Because uh, before that, I got PhD or Doctor of Engineering or PhD nineteen eighty-three, and then moved to Tohoku University first. Yeah. Then, uh, as a uh, uh, Tohoku University is a department of the civil engineering, and I moved to the level. Uh, I moved to Tohoku University. Then, then after that, one year it it was too short because it was supposed to be three years. This is a kind of the Tohoku University that laboratory and our. University of Tokyo, this laboratory is uh, something rotation. There was a rotation. And then Professor, do you know Professor Ogaki? Professor mm -hmm. Hanaki. And then mm -hmm. I was I was successor of the Professor Hanaki. Ah. So Professor Ogaki returned to University of Tokyo. Professor Hanaki went to Tohoku <laughs> University. And to Professor Hanaki returned to University of Tokyo. I went to Tohoku University. All a three three years rotation at that time, mm -hmm. but uh, I was supposed to be three years, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, one year after one year, uh, I went to Tohoku University. Mm -hmm. This is this is also by chance. At that time, Professor Aya, in a department, moved to private university. Uh, Musashi Institute of Technology at that time, that name. And then he got a full professorship at the private university. So the vacant position appeared. That's why I was called mm -hmm. back after one year. Then Professor Furuma is my successor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, you know the story? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what can you ask? Uh, so this is interesting. Then this yeah. means that, that uh, I was suddenly called back. Mm -hmm. 1984, uh, and then I, I became a lecturer at the University of Tokyo that department. But uh, this turning point is this year I started the membrane by reactor work. Because my PhD is totally different, biological treatment, rotated in biological conductors. Also, I'm very much interested in the mathematical modeling of the non-steady state oxygen transfer. 
the rooted in biological contact, uh, contactors anyhow. This was my main part of the doctoral dissertations. Then I moved to the Tokyo University. I studied anaerobic treatment, food mm -hmm. but anaerobic treatment. Mm -hmm. This is also very, very good, uh, good chance to learn anaerobic treatment itself. And the fluid wet mechanism itself, <laughs> hydraulics, anyhow. And I, I, they, but the, my, my stay in only one year, no outcome, of course. I just yes. making this experimental <clears throat> setup to work in, in that laboratory. Is, but that, uh, in that laboratory, that re, this was also the new topics. That's why. Professor whom I succeeded. <laughs> this one. So he used that setup. Right, right. Yes, yes, of course. Of course. No, no, he's a student. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but but anyhow, uh, but uh, this one is getting very, very uh, good to you know different environment, different, no but uh, I like to, uh, then I expand in the knowledge of analogic treatment and other fluid eyes, but uh some hydrodynamics uh, and so on so on this is very good but uh, i suddenly called back and then i met membrane because yeah. professor aya moved but the professor aya left membrane unit uh, that's why uh, i continued started to continue this mem uh, this work in the University of Tokyo. It was very lucky to me. So this is a turning point. The another turning point is I say I, I'm now the AIT interim president, and then I went to AIT to teach. Uh, this is the Japanese second uh, governmental second amendment, JICA second amendment. Uh, when I, it, it is 1987, still uh, I I I am the associate professor, but very young. But I went to AIT, AIT. to teach. This is a very very good experience experience for me, and also uh, at that time I because I did already uh, some. So, so called submerged membrane bioreactor, I already invented during my, uh, this, uh, before 1987, of course. Then, this, uh, I wrote my technology to AIT and the start, and then uh, yeah, making addition of the small uh, supplemental experiment, and then I wrote paper just after I joined the AIT. Mm -hmm. But, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, I did, uh, I did, uh, this was lucky, because uh, I had a small, I, because this is JICA second amendment. I can do some small JICA project at the AIT. So I construct some pilot scale plant of this uh, margin membrane MBR utilizing the campus wastewater. This is a demonstration plant. It was really the demonstration plant. As you know, AIT is a meeting point. Many visitors come, many professors come, and then this, uh, they saw real operation of the submerged MBR. This was very, very lucky to me. And this is, this is the reason this submerged membrane bioreactor was spread, disseminated mm. in the world. I believe that, not not due to the paper. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> but, but 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 due to this kind of the showcase demonstration mm -hmm. plant. But 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 anyhow, uh, so this is the turning point. Is 1987, I moved to AIT. Two years. Then. Another turning point is uh, uh, I was promoted to the professor, full professor, 1995, but I moved to Environmental Science Center, 1996. And then uh, Environmental Center in the University of Tokyo is actually uh, 
say, uh, direct translation in the research center for environment and safety. And then I become, became the professor in charge of waste management in University of Tokyo. University of Tokyo. So, so this means I did, my expertise is water and wastewater treatment at that time. But I moved to environment this center and only one full, full professor at that time. After that, I, I uh, made an effort to expand this center right now and the four full professors there, but at that time only one pro full professors. Then I was in charge of the waste management. Also at that time, uh, we did uh, chemical um, and the toxic chemical treatment ourselves by using the uh, uh, insulation process and then uh, inorganic, inorganic chemical treatment process. It is called a ferrite system. Then I suddenly I became a professor in charge of this operation, operation itself. Then uh, this gives my research field very, very, I expand, I could expand my research field. Then this is very good opportunity to do management that I introduced during, during the Environmental Science Center. I introduced, of course, with the uh, with, uh, uh, assistance of the research associate, but uh, in the Environmental Science Center, I introduced uh, segregation segrega segrega system in New segrega segregation system in New of Tokyo. Very wow, unique so system. Before that, uh, it was not there. Not there. No, no, no. Uh, very, very unique. Something like a, uh, it, this one by one is uh, uh, something that connected to the recycle system uh, outside and then uh, weighing system. So everything, every time. We wait with the production of the waste, something mm -hmm. one by one. So this kind of a system was very unique. And then this gave a good control of the management in the University of Tokyo. And then also I introduced, uh, of course, I started because I, I started a new field of the super critical water oxidation with a collaboration of research uh, associate professor in a chemical engineering colleague. Mm -hmm. But uh, we, uh, we constructed, I think, the uh, first application of the chemical toxic substance, laboratory waste, to the supercritical water oxidation. We constructed mm -hmm. it at the Kashiwa campus. This was very, very fascinating uh, occasion. And then uh, mm -hmm. we, we renovate the dioxin control very strict dioxin control, and I, <clears throat> that, that, something like that. So this means that in the management wise, I learn a lot and then expand my experience. And then also we wanna, this is the University of Tokyo is something, this, the Tokyo leading university. We are now, uh, uh, some, some, this means that we have some organization of same uh, center, in, in Japan and many many national universities, we have a, uh, we have association. Then uh, this kind of the uh, some management of this association is is my task was the collaboration with the Kyoto University and the University of Tokyo. Then I uh, you because of this, I think uh, this management part. Of course, I became I serve as a president of this association. And then also I, I serve as the president of the Japan Society of the Material Cycle and then waste management, so, something like that. And then because of this, uh, maybe, uh, maybe I let your question later, because I think uh, this is for the organization per task. I, I serve as the editor in chief of the journal of the uh, material cycle and then waste management. So something like that, yes. this, uh, this gives a, uh, this gave the expansion of the 
my field anyhow. It's, it was very good time. So this is turning point, 1996.